So after that abomination, <laughs> that pure nonsense. <sighs> oh, oh man. Trying goblins again. Um, so I guess <laughs> those, those games against reanimate are pretty irregular. I'm not playing around that. So as I explained earlier, we're trying Magus of the Moon to go with our goblin. Kyurgen, uh for rug. Also for depths. Can't force a bigger this, you know. Um, oh, no, I want relic. Um, yeah, everything else is like kind of standard. I might miss, you know, I'll probably run into lands and then die because I don't have Scourge Prospector in my deck, but. Let's see what happens. So we're, we're above EV on the night, right? Went 4 1 3 2. Goblin time. This hand's not very good. This hand's much better. I'll put back Pashalik. Keep the matron. Keep our lands. Cavern Lackey into Expert into Matron is pretty strong. Mulligan to five. London Mulligan OP, right? I think I think the London Mulligan is ending is gonna end up a mistake for eternal formats. I think I think it empowers the wrong things. It makes play patterns more repetitive. Alright, don't kill my lackey, please. Play play a creature. Play a creature. Ooh. That's not even a creature. Okay. Ooh, that was a good draw. That was a real good draw. Put in the war chief. Matron. It's forced go. I'm just gonna ever grab ring later. They did mold a five, so could be elves. Um, if it's elves, I'd rather get like Cranko or Earwick Squad. Got a removal spell. Scrapping leader. Could be like Nick Fit. I guess it could be Death still. Like some post deck or something. Could be lands. Ooh, hello. Sling gang. Really? <sighs> well, that's the kind of day I'm having, I guess. Ringleader whiff, cool. Well, now we're vulnerable to kind of stiff. We do have quite a clock, though. The fuck? What? I'm confused. Someone explain what's happening. Oh, it's hypergenesis. <sighs> All right. Yeah, cool. Well, 
to kill that. I forgot that Moto becomes super AP uh, late at night. Let's do sack. Three damage short. We keep a land around. In case we draw, Crater Maker. Fun game. Well, this deck seems really bad against Chalice and Zero. Um, the Surgical the Hypergenesis, they just lose. Cool that Expert killed the Chancellor. Pashlik can uh, kill them via Emrakul. Uh, let's get rid of Grenzo. Keep a ringleader. So we got Red Blast for Show and Tell, Chalice on Zero for Hypergenesis. If our ringleader didn't whiff, we'd probably win that race, actually. If we force of will, I will write the last back. If I'd gotten, you know, uh, something like a Cranko with that ring, with that matron. We got something else, like a sling gang, they'd probably lose, but whatever. Oh, I should have flashed an expert. Oh, this is fine. I'm just gonna hold up red blast. chill. We gotta draw land to hold up this red blast. And then cast expert. Three damage a turn is better than two by a pretty significant margin. Lex return me. They totally are. <sighs> it's coming. I know it's there. Wow, Fanny, you're so good. <laughs> I 
information for your race squad. Probably looking up at your wig squad. <laughs> or I guess looking at the revealed card thing. Hopefully, we don't have like another Wrath. I guess I'm going to play the Cranko and it's like whatever. Another cave return, Shardless Agent. I guess that makes sense. Uh, so they have no way to remove. Let's just. They don't play. Sh uh, they have Force of Wills in hand. Okay. Uh, let's just take the show and tells. Next turn, play the pile driver. It'll be down to 10, and they'll be done in a turn. probably attack with both. They probably don't block the Matron. and they probably don't want to take five. Or not. Alright. Uh, let's play Cranko. And we'll Chieftain next turn. So in their deck, they had no answers to a Chalice on zero, as far as Hypergenesis is concerned. Did they find their one show and tell? <laughs> Suspend Hypergenesis. Okay. <sighs> All right. Um, moon that attacks does not seem terrible, to be honest. But probably worse than other cards. Trojans like Kyurgen's Ky kind of a card. Um, I don't think so though. Because if they we saw two K returns, wow, this hand sucks. All right, Mulligan. Hey, cool chalice. We'll put back the Cranko. <clears throat> we 
we can even beat Chantel Emmercool. Hopefully they're mulliganing to Oblivion. They are, cool. Serious about the ape decks today, huh? I guess if you count the humans league, we played against four combo decks in a row. Storm Storm. Real Chancellor of the Annex, sure. Storm Storm Reanimator Hypergenesis. <laughs> We're gonna play the lackey. Put in matron, grab sling. And squad them. I think that that is exactly what it is. All right, so they have a show and tell in hand. I could take their mana sources. They're missing lands. So their hand is show and tell, uh, Chancellor, Spirit Guide, Violent Outburst. Um, I can take the fetchables and then I can fetch an island. There's a forest in their deck, isn't there? Then it's a forest. No, there's a forest right there. Um, but I could take the blue sources. Yeah, I could take all the blue sources. Taiga. Or no, Trop, Falk, Island. <laughs> <laughs> so we're hitting them for seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait, well, so so uh, look on a twelve. Can we drain them for twelve? Um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, almost. I'm not going to do anything pre-combat in case of, I don't know, K return, double spirit guide. All right, they can see. Cool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is pretty great. I like, I like, I like this. Take your fetches. <laughs> oh man, this league is going to go terribly. I can just feel it. I can just feel it. I'm out of scotch. Hmm. 1 a.m., is that too late to be drinking more scotch? Probably. I'll get a headache if I do. <laughs> All right, on the play again. Cool. Uh... Gotta love double port with all these lands. There's some decks that this would be really good against. Like I would snap keep this against me like miracles, honestly. Because double port's so good. Two basics, but Alright, well, this is way better. Keep. Um I think I'm putting back Warchief. I'm trying to put in Grenzo. Cause then I can cast it. I can still cast the Grenzo if the Lackey dies. Because given that our hand doesn't have any more like creatures besides two, I expect to play rather quickly. The war chief, it opens up our draws, but it doesn't open up our hand. Or is Grenzo like 
I might just close the game really fast. And it's good against our tougher matchups. Sounds pretty good against like depths. Sounds gas against depths. Turn one, Blackie, turn two. Kill your reclaimer, put in Grenzo, and hold up Wasteland. Blue deck, please. Interesting. <laughs> We're getting <laughs> They've cast a ginger fruit. They cast ginger fruit. Oh, would you create a maker? That's pretty gross. <laughs> oh my god. It's ginger fruit coming at you. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna fetch out a Badlands and kill the Ginger Brute. <laughs> oh man, that is great. I'm gonna put in the Crater Maker here. Um, it's worse against a potential removal spell, but it, I doubt they have much, many of those, and uh, it's more mana efficient to have it in play already. The next turn I can like Grenzo hold up Wasteland. And if they like Wasteland me to take me off double red or black, then I mean, then the Lackey's getting in again. Okay. This wasteland's gonna be good. This mox opal does not look great. I wonder what they have going on. Ginger brute. Oh my god, I love it. I do wish, obviously, now that the Grenzo was a war chief, but we're still in fine shape. Oh right, I can. I can. <laughs> totally right. Stun coil serpent. Okay. Hmm. Well, we're gonna get to trade with the lackey. I'm wondering if I want to wasteland them or not. I think I hold the wasteland. So I should play out. Grenzo. And then pop the stone coil. Kind of sucks to use a crater maker on that though. They probably have a lot more relevant cards. Not wasting also puts me on the potential of a top deck uh, ringleader.
clearing their board also makes a Mox Opal worse has not yet generated them any mana. I can make one right now. Opponent probably trying to look up Goad. I love that their response to Term on Lackey was Ginger Brute. <laughs> I could try to like deny them a life by getting real greedy and uh, Crater Maker in the Vault Scourge and then hoping that they trade the Lackey Stone, uh, stone, Skull, stone Coil Serpent. But then actually no, it cost me one damage because then uh, I'm probably not attacking the Munitions Expert. Can I disconnect? Hope not. Their deck looks sweet. Send me a message. Hit lag test. having connection problems. I guess we could still... We're going to get one Grenzo trigger this turn. Maybe we'll hit a zero mana thing if we hit like a Mox Opal. Could be, could be something. Grenzo is usually kind of bad in these sorts of matchups, though. The more synergy, synergy-based creature matchups. Actually, I could just attack with a uh, Lackey and Crater Maker. It's like fine, right? Mm -hmm. oh, I want him to orbit down the other direction. Whoops. That's right. Uh, we oh we can go with this thing. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> so now I kind of wish I held up the wasteland. Ravager. Okay. Makes sense. Crater Maker's real good against Darkbound Ravager, though. Um, they don't have activation up so all right all right Grenzo triggers give me something good thorn of amethyst not good ancient tomb probably okay um i mean i guess i'll cast it The 
They probably have more non-creatures than I do. <laughs> they, they scoop. <laughs> Ooh, draw Pashalik into Gem Palm. That's pretty brutal. That's definitely really good. All right, all these cards, really, really good. Pithy Needle. Oh, did I only play one Pithy Needle this league? Oh yeah, to fit the second Caracas in the Magus. That's right. Squad comes out. Um, Pile Driver comes out. Uh, maybe not, actually. Um, we'll leave one. Churchin seems fine. Uh, Grenzo can come out. Oh, Goad was like kind of <laughs> good there. Um, I love that we can block a Ginger Brute because a lot of our creatures have haste. Um, Shaper Ringleader, maybe. Just so we don't get run over. That seems fine. I'm more concerned about the early game than, you know, past turn five. All right. <clears throat> yeah, that sounds great. Turn one vial. Turn two, kill your ginger brute. Bam. Ancient tomb. Fault Scourge. Okay. Got another one? You do. All right. Well, that offset that life loss. Ooh, Lucky is not bad. Love a Pyrokinesis or a Chain Whirler. So we're going to avoid fetching Basic Swamp if we can. <clears throat> All right, that was pretty good. Oof. All right, well, we're going to Okay, that was a disgusting draw. Uh, how do we do this? Um, so we go... Fion Lackey, Munitions Expert, the Ravager. They sack um I guess we I guess we wait a turn. Right, because we'd rather crater make we want to crater make with the Ravager and then kill everything in response to modular moving. Alright. Um, should I kill anything now? I don't think so. So we Crater Maker, Ravager.
city. Nothing to Flacky though. Some are looking for like a wasteland or a port. Oh. Thought not here. Ballista. Ooh. That's pretty good. Against this munitions expert. Well, that was the best draw possible. Uh Alright, well, we're having pretty unfair draws against this opponent here. Just gonna grab Trash Master. Put it in the gem palm. I could just cast. I think I'd rather draw a card. I don't need redundant removal. Four, five, six, seven. I actually have lethal with the gem palm just by attacking with it. Should have Alden. Yeah. Six. Oh no, it's one off. Um. Eh. Jesus Christ! All right, I'm. I'm a sack today. I mean, Steel Stomp is one of Goblins' very best matchups, so. I remember when Max Dorshin wrote an article uh, for about Steel Stompy. He's like, yeah, goblins. Never want to face goblins. <laughs> ever, ever. That pyrokinesis was disgusting, though. Like, if I didn't draw the pyrokinesis, it would have been tricky. Um, for sure. <clears throat> and the matron to kill the... Uh, I mean, I guess. This has got our mana, right? Sand's really good against a, uh, a wasteland kind of heavy draw, but... So I'm actually going to fetch out our, our uh, a mountain first in case of, like... Well, actually, no, that doesn't make any sense. I'm just going to, like, yeah, what am I doing? Turn one lackey. Getcha. I'm starting to get really hungry. I'm gonna like eat before bed. <laughs> hmm. Alright, we tried. <laughs> Both teams tried hard. Man. <laughs> Combo Ape Central. Need to draw like Matron Sun Gang. Four, five, six. We're one short of killing the Rizzle Brand there. Bummer. Four, five, six. Yeah, six damage. Need one more Goblin to kill the Grizzle Brand. Uh.
I might stay in this game in case they do because they could maybe do something stupid and lose somehow. Um, I can draw matron. Uh, matron put in sling gang. Let me like. Four, they're gonna be at eleven. No, they're gonna be fourteen. Oh, yeah, I can't kill them. Yeah, well, we could kill the Grizzlebrand then. If we draw a Goblin, we can kill the Grizzlebrand. Um, they're probably gonna go for Emrakul this turn. I would imagine if they have the Omniscience build. Hmm. No mean no mean to Krakus today, so Okay. <clears throat> Good to know they've seen they have two spirit guides. <clears throat> so they probably don't have Omni, which is relevant. Uh I guess notable they didn't have any pedals there. Playing days. Yikes. This matchup seems real bad. Days. No, no, no Omni makes them much weaker to Krakus. And like Pithy Needle type cards. Uh, yep, that's not gonna do it. Uh I guess we can theoretically kill Grizzle Rand. But then we have to leave, use our crater maker, so dead to Maybe they don't have another red source. I guess they'll draw and kill me, so. Yeah. Alright. Have nothing. Somehow. Some way. Hack your deck. Have nothing. Alright, they had something. Don't you slow roll me. If you have the thing, just do it. Come on. Mm hmm. You don't need two things. Just do the one. What? Really? They don't have it. I think they're actually digging for it. <laughs> they just never found a second fatty. That's hilarious. They're gonna find it here though. It's the chances that they don't are like super small. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> did, they, did, they, did anyone else just see that game? How? I can't. Uh, uh, 23 cards left in their deck. They didn't find any Emrakuls or... Oh man, all right, well, I guess I've used my, my, uh, I guess I'm not allowed to complain anymore, like ever. Ah, uh, I've got no words. Uh, I might actually want Grenzo over the last ring leader, the last jump on here. Yeah. Prowl squad, it's just faster. All right. Um, I mean, oh, that sounds, but double Caracas. Not that two Caracas is, it's essentially a multi six. If they had turned two Grizzlebrand, we didn't answer it for like three turns. <laughs> How? How do we win that game? What the fuck?
Oh my god. Uh, I've got nothing. And if we draw like sling gang, chooses to shuffle. Okay. Another red source, I guess it's theoretically useful. If I go show and tell here, I'm probably putting in a uh, shot and port. Expert. Port, port the city, I think, because sneak attack is the concern here. Going to four is real bold. Alright, that's a card I can wasteland. Pyroclasm? Yeah, alright. I just discard a ton. Pedal, sure. Let's discard a zillion cards, which ancient tombs makes sense. So we're only really scared of. Uh, Sneak attack at this point, so I really want like a pithing needle. Chieftain. I think we want to waste port this turn though. To keep him off red. Yeah. Play. Okay. Cavern would be very good. Pile driver's not bad. Let's me keep porting. I probably force a will this. Cool. Fine with me. We're gonna still port. Even though it's tapping down into Caracas, I think that's okay. If we have a sneak attack here, then we're in trouble. Yep, please no second pedal. All right. Um, huh. This is tricky. So I'd like to War Chief attack plus port the red source. But I have to hold up Caracas, or else I die to like anything. So we're not porting this turn, unfortunately. Meaning I should play the vial. So I should cast that. No, they play days. Okay. I play second Caracas. Uh, doesn't get me anywhere. So down to two cards. And they're 
down to two. So slinging off the top kills them. Another mountain, not what I wanted. Crocus is legendary. Beebs, by the way, if that's what you're thinking. End step. Post plan, sure. They also have the Ember Cool. No, they don't. Okay. Piffing Needle. Oh, that's a blast. Not great. Tap white and place it. Uh, I already played my land for the turn. I think that's what you were missing. I'll definitely blast a cantrip here. All right, come on, goblin. <laughs> Four creatures, not enough to beat a pyroclasm. Get some force of wills. <laughs> Flavor wise, what's happening? <laughs> this game's very dumb. Get a black source in case they blood moon me, because I'm dead to blood moon anyway. All right, that was good. Of all the non-lands there, that was pretty strong. Get to port them off blue. I still can't believe we won game one. Schadenport doing work. We're three to go. Let's go and sneak and show. Oh. <laughs> that Crocus bounced the Grizzle Brand like six times. <laughs> Alright, so we at least cash. We cashed all of our leaks tonight. That's great. That's great. Hope maybe we'll get a trophy with goblins. I don't know how we beat the game one. This is totally absurd. Maybe I'm playing better because I'm a little bit drunk. No, no, not really. That was not enough scotch to, to do that, but I'm a little looser, I guess. I'm not so nervous like I get a lot of time. Holy shit, we're five and a half hours into this stream. I get some water. This is definitely the longest stream I've ever done. So what are we on the night? We've had three losses out of 12 matches. And a couple of them were, two of them were exceedingly unlikely, the Ponza loss and the Reanimator loss. Not bad.
five out of eight vintage decks were playing Oko, and seven and out were playing Narset. That is disgusting. Jesus Christ. Yeah, we're... Sorry, I'm, like, checking Twitter while I'm streaming. It's just, like, I'm sitting here for a couple minutes per, per queue. So we've beaten two Grizzlebrand decks so far and Steel Stompy. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Still can't believe we beat turn two Grizzlebrand, not answer it, just race it question mark they just i think they just uh, they should have not attacked if i if they just never turned their grizzle brand sideways i just never win just like not even close they need to be in a match umek sounds good found the port munitions expert slink or warchief keep Good, well-balanced hand. Some mana denial, some removal, some mana ramp. Plenty of lands, a basic. More into six. Misty. Okay. Island. Thunder. Sure. Panda. Hmm. We've got a cavern. So we turn three war chief. We can expert in the same turn, all uncounterable. Mogul Marshal, also a solid draw, depending on the matchup. This probably gets forced. Really? Okay. I can dig it. Just don't be show and tell again. <laughs> Dude, third girl's a friend deck. I, I'd be unhappy. Alright, looks like we got miracles. Maybe stone blade. Oh. Maybe control. Snow control. No, not snow control. Huh. Okay. Cool. That's all fine. Um. Just want to play, replay my vial, probably. Um, I think I want to hold back the port, play out the wasteland. Don't want to expose either of these two, so I guess it is the wasteland. Alternatively, I just play the Mogwar Marshal. That seems worse. Let's replay file. Um, we're just going to port them. They're probably going to cast Raisin Borrower. That's okay with me. Easily kill a 3 1. I'll port their Black Source. Looks like some sort of control deck going on. Take three. Oh, is it ninjas? Looks like it's ninjas. All right, neat. That's pretty good. The adventure cards, I can dig it. That's not bad. Um, well, we do need to get rid of this thing. We also need to be conscious of a plague engineer. Um, so I'm thinking war marshal expert kill that.
I can bounce my vial again, which would be like mildly annoying, but at this point in the game, it's less important. So man gets wastelanded. Just don't play engineer me. That would really suck. Tombstalker. Holy shit. Alright. Someone call Steve. So So we want to kill that right now. We can't play around force of will. Um or days. I think I like Wasteland of them, War Chief File. I guess I can attack. And if they block, I can expert the Tomb Stalker. Notably, no revolt for a fatal push. Okay. Take five. Um, I could go for a kill here with Matron Piledriver, I think. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah. Um, but it gets completely ruined by a pedal push and wastes the Matron. So I think I'm going to kill this Tomb Stalker. Oh, this doesn't play around Fatal Push either. All right, so let's tap like this. Okay, they don't force it well. Let's still grab Ringleader. Then expert the tomb stalker. I do really suck against a plague engineer here. Yeah, there's a push. Called it. That's okay, we got redundant war chief. Shuffles, cool. Two cards. If they attack, I could like 
quintuple block. I don't see how it could possibly go wrong. Because I would like to get this out of the way. I'm going to fetch. Okay. How could this go wrong? Maybe they're trying to fuel another Tomb Stalker? They can already do that. Some sort of Echoing Truth. Echoing Truth plus removal spell. If they got main deck Echoing Truth, they've got me. Gonna fetch now because of revolt. Putting badlands might be sketchy if they have a uh, back to basics. Ooh, patch like mons. One, two, three. We're gonna ringleader here. not bad. Probably casting the Brazen Borrower. Three ones not looking so hot with this patch look in my hand. And I can't block. So I've got a nine. They have Eureka into like a nine drop. Or no, oh, 11 damage. Flip another Eureka. Okay. I think we're safe. Even if we have Engineer this turn, we should be okay. I'll bounce the vial, sure. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, I think I can just attack, not give him revolt. Because he kills the lackey, takes one, two, three, four, yeah. Two tokens. Again for four. Alright, they conceded. Alright. Alright, so this looks like Red Blast, the matchup. And Pyrokinesis looks pretty decent as well. Um don't think we want any more than that. Caracas is actually pretty good. Probably better than Wasteland. Um Tomb Stalker is a concern. We did manage to expert at that game. Churchin seems pretty good against the Fatal Push deck. Mog Fanatic seems good. Pile Driver seems great. Grenzo might uh doesn't revolt only count for impermanence. Uh I don't think so. Maybe I'm wrong. From you controlled. Oh, you're you're totally right. My bad. It is 1:43 a.m. 
Um, and I am starving, jeez. Uh, probably Shiver Ringleader, probably Shiver Cranko. Um, probably not a Cranko matchup. It's Shape Squad. Let's try this. Maybe cut Lackey over Ringleader, honestly, because of Plague Engineer. They don't block super well, though. This hand's pretty good. Got a Krakus for Eureka, turn one pile, two one drops. Oh, oh, it's this version. All right, that's potentially quite scary. They have the uh, unblockable dude. Right, they don't. Gonna bounce my vial. Nope. Okay. Um, so it's two mana, make a one one. Um, let's play a vial. And play. Churchin. Doc Gob in play. Let's pay one, sacrifice it. Okay. So they can give it flying. They want to spend more mana on that, but that's so... What is going on right here? Um, what? Hold on. Moto? <laughs> what is this? What is this, Moto? Bummer. Could deny them. I think I should do this. Could cast Tombstalker here. Ooh, that's a rough thought seize. Ooh, if they have Tombstalker after that, or like a Plague Engineer, we're like pretty dead. Well, we can top deck a Crater Maker. That was a pretty brutal turn for me. I wish I had a Rashad and Port to stop that. We're going to need more than three spells, though. Come on, deck. This is tilting this weird... Does it look... Does it come up in the stream? I can't look. Can some? Can other people see these, like, zero cards... Yeah, Plague Engineer fucking sucks. I, I hate this card so much. It takes interesting matches and shits on them. Let's uh, get Badlands. Okay. Um, I think we're going for Ringleader still. Um... these zero things. Um, so to do this properly, 
I am going to activate file on four, hold pri holding priority, activate file on three. Uh, it's control, yeah. I messed this up last time. Could go straight for the, the answer, but I think I need big hit. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Really? <sighs> Total whiff, huh? I guess we're bringing in Trash Master now. Probably Pipping Needle as well. She's got like one ringleader left in the deck. Most of our draws are dead. I'm gonna draw a crater maker. Ooh, chain warp was not bad. It's actually pretty good. We might get to ambush the thing in combat. <laughs> I get a four four. Or I can do that right now. Let's do this right now. Can't really beat a 4 4. Oh, I got Revolt. Fatal Push, yep. Trouble answering these though. Oh, is this a mistake? Oh, yeah. I, well, it's actually a fine trade. Should have brought in Trash Master. I forgot this deck can play this card. Back to basics. Oof. I thought they might have that. So then I can make it a 4 4. Yeah, yeah, they play the Ornithopter too. Alright. They just had a very unusual draw last game then. Alright, well. I'm gonna get rid of that while I can before. They have like forcible mana. Up. We have a live top deck still. Put me down to eight. Put me down to three. Oof. All right, now we know we want pithing needle and plague engineer. I mean, uh. Trash Master for sure. All right, we need something. Okay. Let's get these cards back in here. I think we want all of them. I think we want Hero Squad. Tremolaki. Um...
probably don't end up actually wanting needle given all this um bringing the trash trash master back in trash master um They're not actually very removal heavy, so Trojan might actually not be necessary. Um, let's see, trimming a war chief. Um, Really medium on Cranko here, or squad. I can't really kill with the Nero squad though. Let's go with the squad. All right. Do wish these wastelands were ports, but Still all right. Mr. Rocket, thank you for the follow. Very much appreciated. I did board out one wasteland, right? Yeah. Looks like a Thoughtseize, Ornithopter. Oh god, turn one four four. Gross. This Mongol Marsh is pretty good against that. Um In that case, I'm definitely paying Echo. Are they going to bounce my vial? It's like annoying, but I wasn't doing anything else to my mana anyway. Ooh, Gem Palm is not bad. Engineer would suck. Did they just have it on turn three again? Or they didn't have a turn three last time, but. All right. So Marvel Marshall was like time walk. Basically. Basically time walk confirmed. Love a cavern. Hmm. This matron gets countered. We're in really rough shape. I don't think I can wait. I knew that was going to happen. I fucking knew it. Jeez. I don't want to let them get in. I guess if they get an engine to play, then their four four is gone. They keep to miss. They keep missing land drops. I should have attacked. I'm not blocking this. I think. All right, support would be really good. That guy's really good. Uh, 
So I play around another counter spell. It's like my best card. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Double blue blast. <sighs> That's upsetting. Such nonsense. All right, now we chill. No, it's Ren and Six. This deck probably can't like ever beat a Ren and Six. I should have waited. I should have waited. That matron resolve, that trash master would resolve. Just win this game easily. Hopefully they brainstorm locked themselves. Nope. Here comes Engineer. It's bullshit. Chieftain. We lost this game for no reason. I mean, it's 2 a.m. Can't expect to play super tight, but oh man, it feels bad. This game was locked up. We just didn't to not cast our spells for literally no reason. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. I guess I have another draw. I could draw a Crater Maker. Yeah. Bummer. Man, I just... I ran straight into the stupid Blue Blast. Man, fuck Ren and Six for making Blue Blast a playable magic card. We draw in a cavern ever we win that game for sure also ringleader whiffed game two with the plague engineer board man no trophy again like a 3 0 start i should have waited that was dumb they were missing land drops they weren't doing anything i didn't have to do i didn't have to act i was thinking it just put me so far ahead but it just uh correct thing to do there was nothing and I didn't see that because I just saw I do that too often actually I, I take I take risky lines too often I think um, whatever trophies don't really matter <laughs> like they're nice and all and you get bragging rights but multiple four ones is better than five oh and oh five right yeah sitting on vile it's like I mean obviously it's easy to say that in retrospect because I think jamming the trash master is probably correct because it's pretty unlikely that they have two blue blasts because that card is at maximum a two of in sideboards like it's common a two of but it's you know they'd have to have both of them those wastelands were ports we could have been porting them off black or uh, ported them off blue before we did anything and then we definitely resolve it unless their hand was force of wills but Yeah, I don't know, the deck is like, that deck can have some really, really clunky draws, um, has a lot of expensive stuff, so it was totally plausible that their hand didn't work without three mana. Um, we really needed a port. If we draw on a port, definitely win that game, because they never cast the Engineer, and then we get to resolve both our Matron and our Trashmaster through the Blasts. 
So that's a bummer. Mr. Rocket, Mr. Follow, by the way. Sorry about that. Two AM, last round. Been playing since uh, eight. Right, three, two, or four, one. On the draw. Hmm. Sand, two drops and three drops. Nah. Sure. Keep. Um. Let me throw back the chieftain or the churchin. I think it's chieftain. Really depends on the matchup. If it's combo, I really want the chieftain rather than the jersey. Let's go with chief. Or, yeah. I have to take a plow deck. Still, one, one, three one drops in the opener is like pretty important. I think not. I mean, not to have three, but having three is very good. Forest, go. Hmm. Port's a good draw. This might be lands. I feel pretty good about lands, though. Skirt Prospector is a sorely missed in this matchup. Yeah, it looks like lands. Okay. But they're having a real weird draw. I guess it could be depth still. or something looking more like lands sure It is. <laughs> All right, I think we need to get pile driver here. Um, because I have the church and to protect it. And gives Churchin something to do if it's uh, a bad matchup for him. And that helped provide two damage for Pile Driver. Okay. Stage. Dead if they have Dark Depths. This could still be Depths. They have crop tech crop rotation. Can I do anything about that? Hmm. I'm gonna be one turn late on sling. Probably go for it anyway. And if they have the crop rotation, they have the crop rotation. How much damage is Chief? Good question. Uh, two, four. Wait, uh, two, four, six, eight, ten. So that's twelve off pile driver. Uh, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. 2021. It's 
21 damage, but not through Merit Lage. I think... Sling is probably better. I think I'm going to go for Sling. Judging on how they're playing, I'm assuming that they have the kill, but... Um, yeah, I think if crop... <clears throat> They always have it. <laughs> um, so we're going to matron for matron. No, it doesn't. None of our lines beat crop rotation dark, dark depths. Maybe they mess up and block the pile driver. If they block the pile driver, they lose. <laughs> nice. Oh, I should have saved, I should have churchened the pile driver. That's right. I could have kept the pile driver around. Which is actually, oh man, it's actually like a pretty big pun. We'd be cracking back for lethal. We're not gonna have lethal now. Fuck! I totally punted that. I passed priority. I, I thought about it way too late. Two a.m. Uh, trade a punt for a punt. Yeah. We do have draws that kill them though. Yeah. Wow. That was super bad. Holy shit. <sighs> All right, so it's lands, so we actually know what they are. That's important. <clears throat> yeah, I, I, oh, I'm stupid. Pile driver would be super duper lethal. Oh, man, we're gonna take up to four, so we can ringleader. Oh, they have tabernacle. Cool. Um, well, shit. What's our out? Chieftain. Chieftain puts them to twelve. So they put you say so yeah, chieftains are out. So it's lands, that's all right. Oh, God. 
I'm a little mad at myself for punting that. That was really bad. Really, really bad. I'm like scared of Rangan Magus of the Moon, but. Sand's quite good. Draw third land, especially. Six, please. There we go. Interesting. Okay. Should play the wasteland there. P fire. Sure. Now the squad's rotting in our hand. That's a problem. Badlands, pop relic. Let's slam this uh, Magus. Hope they don't have another punching fire. Got this, which is pretty darn good. But we do have to handle this uh, clue making machine. Made a pretty strong draw. Ooh, vomit.
need like a Cranko to go super wide. This tracker's not going anywhere. I still have one expert in the deck, so I can't cast it. The fact that I had to fetch Badlands because it was Arid Mesa kind of biting me here. I really wish this was a basic swamp. Uh, we're definitely, I feel like we're losing this game for sure, unless we draw something real good. Cranko would do it. Matron would do it. A turn late, but at least they like can't attack with this tracker. They use a second one. Because for trading damage, that favors me. Man, I should have won game one. I really should have. Yeah, I would have had the pile driver stick around, would have had lethal. Matron or Cranko, come on. Sure. This is why I don't play Blood Moon anymore, that card. Basic Mountain, not what I had in mind. God, stop hitting your lance, Jesus Christ. do anything though. P fire. Choose target creature. I'll sacrifice this one. It happened. If we just draw some goblins. I'll even take basic swamp. Come on, really, really? Ugh, I'm gonna lose this game. I'm not gonna get the four one because I'm shitty. Oh man. If I don't draw a creature, I'm gonna be very upset. I'm just keep hitting their land on the school. Cool. I can't believe I lost that game one. I'm so mad at myself. Man, that's what I get for playing at 2 in the morning. That's, like I, I realized it literally the second I passed priorities. Like, fuck, I should have saved the pile driver. I think I have to block with the, the church in here. I need to keep the war chief around. They gambled for a punishing fire, so. I 
because I have my out here is Krenko. Oh, they have maybe hard cast force a figure. Yeah, that's all right. Even basic swamp creature. Cool. Very cool deck. Stupid tireless tracker. Come on. Had this game. Flashing fire. Yeah. All right. Well, we didn't get our four one because I fucking punted like a fucking idiot and we drew like shit. Oh, here's the basic swamp into Cranko. Fuck. Oh, wow. I haven't lost the lands in a while. Oh, man. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. <sighs> oh, why didn't I save the pile driver? They also had a really strong draw for game two. Double Nox, Loam, to Tracker. <sighs> Well, we tried. We tried. We should have won game one. Should have won game one because they punted. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, well, let's open our chest. Oh, hey. Decent play points. The card. Alright, uh, it's 2 30 in the morning. I am super tired. If I played a little tighter, I think we get the I think we get the, the four one there. What are these two? Yeah, so I punted both. Oh man, that could have been a 5 0. That really could have been a 5 0. I just need to hold the cards here and then not play like an idiot. That's what I mean, though. Goblins is super punishing. You fuck up once and that's the game. Which is exciting, but also really frustrating <laughs> sometimes. The Nagus was good. Um, it's a lot better than Blood Moon against that lands player. Um, I do need to be mindful of black cards if I'm bringing in moon effects, though. If that Eric squad was another creature, it could have been a pretty different game. Um, so the Eric squad kind of lost me the game in a way. If it was any other creature, probably could win that. Not any other creature, but if the creatures we boarded out, if it was like a ringleader, be in way better shape. We did draw lands and vials for four lands for four turns straight or whatever. Um, I think this build's good. It's definitely solid. Like, could have gone 5 0, just needed to play a little tighter. Um, streaming's hard. Streaming for six and a half hours is hard. <laughs> uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe. If you're following the channel, hit me up with the follow. I really doubt anyone else is streaming right now, but we'll see. Uh, in fact, he is. All right, we'll send you over to Ziggy Stardust, as he's called. Have a good night, everyone. <laughs>